What's up guys? Today I'm reviewing the 2018 Mercedes AMG S63 sedan. I just want to thank H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida for allowing me to take this luxurious rocket out to review it, drive it, and see how it feels, and to show you guys what it's all about. All right, let's go check it out. All right guys, here she is, 2018 Mercedes-Benz AMG S63 sedan. Finished in the lovely Dizinio Alanite Gray Magno paint, which is actually a metallic-y satin paint. And uh, as you can see, this is a fully, fully loaded car. It's got the carbon ceramic brakes, which I'm not sure how much the option is, but I've got the window sticker inside, so we'll go over that in a little bit. Aside from the paintwork, it has the full carbon, carbon fiber package inside and out, the full Dizinio interior. Uh, I do know it's a $209,000 sticker, which is, I think, the highest sticker that I've seen on new S63. I know the S65s go a lot higher, like a quarter million dollars, but for a S63, this is as high as a specification as you can get, I believe. Don't hold me to that. So new for 2018 is the facelift of the W222 generation of the S-Class. And uh, like many other AMG models in the lineup, this S63 is powered by the handcrafted 4-liter bi-turbo V8 that makes 603 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. And thanks to that new 4MATIC Plus all-wheel drive system, it doesn't just have a fixed torque split, it's actually variable and can send any amount of power to any of the four wheels whenever the car needs it. But most of the time it does have a rear-wheel drive bias. It really only sends power to the front wheels when it absolutely is fighting for grip, like out here on the wet roads, the wet ground here. Now on the outside, not much has changed. It really is kind of a light facelift, both in and out. You've got these new Stardust taillights, which we'll get a look at in a second. We have the new bigger diffuser, more aggressive exhaust, but the trunk lid, the main body lines, the roof line, the doors. These wheels are new, new for 2018. It's got the carbon ceramic brakes, which are absolutely massive. And of course the front bumper, the grille, the headlights are all new. This has the LED multi-beam headlights, which we'll get a look at. It's got all the carbon down here. Got all the Distronic Plus, or now called Drive Pilot, the radar sensors, front cameras. It's got night vision. All the stereoscopic cameras up here. Surround view systems. You've got cameras down here. You've got the badging for the 4Matic Plus. Carbon side skirts. And just like a lot of other Mercedes-Benz models, to open the trunk, you can either use the button here, the button on the key in your pocket, or you can kick here. Really just a swipe of the foot. And, aside from a very large trunk, you probably noticed the subwoofer here. That's part of the Burmester high-end system, which is, I believe, over 20 speakers, and it's really like sitting at a concert in the car. Now, to close the trunk, you can either tap that, or that'll lock it with the keys in your pocket, or just swipe your foot underneath, and it closes up. All right, now let's get a look at those... Uh, LED headlights and taillights. Just have to uh, ignition on. Put the headlights on. As well as your hazard lights. Of course you have soft closed doors. Now when it comes to lighting, Mercedes-Benz has really always been on top. Actually, starting with the 2014 S-Class, which was the world's first production vehicle to be 100% LED. No incandescent lighting or bulbs of any kind, no filament bulbs. So you have the blind spot monitor there. The bright wraparound indicator in the mirror with the carbon fiber cover, as well as the camera for the surround view. Got bright little side markers here. And now check out the multi-beam LED headlights. They're fully active units with switchbacks for the amber and the DRLs. You have the three lines here. Yeah, this is all one active unit, so it all moves as one piece. It can swivel, move up and down. Let's get a better look at it. Let's move out. Look at that. It's a very regal, imposing look. It's a car that you're going to notice behind you on the road, and likely you're going to want to get out of its way. So now let's go look at those taillights, which is the same, same kind of style as the 2018 E63 Ash Wagon I reviewed. You have the 
regular turn signals here, the LEDs, and then you have that stardust effect, which goes all the way through. It's very cool, it wraps around, almost becomes one giant side marker. And you have the LED reverse lights at the bottom. Looks really cool. All right, let's get a look at that handcrafted by Turbo V8. All right, there it is. Look at that. For 600 horsepower and over 600 pound-feet of torque in this little 4-liter by Turbo V8. And with AMG's one-man, one-engine policy, you've got the plaque here of the individual who built the engine by hand. And aside from the uh, carbon fiber cover here and all the intakes and the plastic covers, there's really not much to look at. And being a hot V, you can see the turbos are in the valley here. So that's good for uh, pretty much no turbo lag. And uh, a lot of the engine, or most of it, is mounted actually behind the front axle. Or right on top of it, so the weight distribution is great. And that's why the front end of this car feels so responsive, especially in turns, compared to the uh, S65, which is very front heavy. Alright, you can see the, uh, the matte paint, the Allenite Grey, Dizinio Magno. Alright, so we're going to close it up. You can see all the, uh, the, the night vision, the stereo cameras, cruise control, heads up display. All right, let's step inside into that AC. Right off the bat, you can see the full leather interior, Napa leather, carbon fiber trim, the white with the cross stitching here, contrast stitching here against the, uh, the black full leather, the black panel, black wood. And then you've got the Burma Burmeister 3D surround sound system. All right, let's start it up. Now, like with the E63S wagon I drove, first you want to put it into ignition. Make sure the exhaust valves are open. Now to get the AMG a motion start, you want to put your foot on the brake, hold down the left paddle, and, and you get a more aggressive startup. Put it into uh, Sport Plus, give it some revs, that sounds really good and uh, don't worry we're going to get some race start videos later and some startups and revs for now let's close the door up see the uh, cooled seats are already on and you've got part of the uh, Burmester high end or 3D stereo system you've got the basic speakers here and you've got the rotating 3D tweeters up here you can have the ambient lighting You've got another speaker up here, center channel here, more speakers over here, more on the doors, and you've got them around the back over there. And as you can see, this vehicle has the tray tables, this full center console, rear entertainment system, everything. All right, let's get that AC on. All right, so here inside the S63, it's very similar to the 2016 uh, white one, the diamond white that I just drove, and actually my own 2014 S550. Interior-wise, the only thing that's really changed is this, frankly, magnificent new steering wheel with the uh, stitched horn cover, flat bottom, all the Alcantara or Dynamica, which is Mercedes' version of Alcantara, the leather with the racing line here, all the new buttons and controls. Uh, the 12.3-inch screens are the same size, they're still there, but now there's one glass panel that's going across, so there's no longer physical buttons over here. They've been moved all throughout the vehicle. There's the back, the rear shades here. The vehicle lifter is somewhere over here. I mean, it's really, they just really simplified it, made it more modern. And you've got that big heads up display, which is configurable. It really is, like I said earlier with the exterior, a light facelift, both on the outside and the inside. So I'm not going to go too in depth with the uh, infotainment, but uh, I mean, you've got things like the cameras. Let's see here, you got, you know, all the cameras here, rear camera, you know, basic stuff. And you've got your sport modes here, so. Sport Plus, Sport, which just closed the exhaust valves, actually put it to level one of the suspension. Comfort, individual. Let's see what else we got. We'll go to radio. Got your Sirius HD FM radio. Your manual mode, traction control. All right, so we got vehicle here, vehicle settings. Got climate control. And when I was reviewing the 2020 BMW 7 Series, and it had that vitalization program, 
where it basically copied or or got its motivation from or inspiration was Mercedes Benz's Energizing Comfort. So let's see, you've got refresh, we'll play that. They put up the AC. All right, so we'll go to uh, Vitality here, which changes the music and they put the seat massage on. Let's try another one. Enjoyment. Let's see what else we got. Well being. Let's just change the uh, ambient lighting to purple. Maybe because the underneath. So, one thing that's very interesting is this training program. Let's see if we click on it. Muscle stimulation. Let's go to abdominal training. Strengthen your stomach muscles. Move your shoulders diagonally back and down. Let's go to pelvic exercise. It's got everything here. Activate your pelvis. Tense your buttock muscles and maintain the tension. Release the tension again and again. Tense your buttock muscles. Maintain the tension. All right, we're going to get away from that for now. That's and release. kind of weird. Oh, God, how do Think I stop Think about it? your breathing. The there tension. <laughs> All right, so that's something. That's the thing. It's This car is very over the top. There's so many features in here like that. I mean, actually, what we can do, we go to vehicle, system, display and designs. We can actually choose the designs. So we have sport, which is this, which I love. Classic, which I was just in. And progressive. And it says here to adjust ambient lighting. That's kind of cool. So we got, we'll go to sport. Adjust the ambient lighting. That's pretty cool. All right, we got the window sticker for this 2018 Mercedes AMG S63 sedan. And the base price is $147,500. And with all the options, it is graded about 209000 After with taxes, it's definitely going to go over two hundred nine. Um, let Let's see what we get. So we got all the standards, lots of standard features. This actually has more standard features than most of the cars. Let's see. So the paint, the Dizinio Alanite Gray Magno is a $4,000 option. The Porcelain Black Exclusive Napa Leather is a $4,500 option. The carbon fiber black piano lacquer trim is $3,700. Let's see, you got the MTH Euro Road Insurance or INS something, $3,800. Carbon ceramic brakes, nine grand. The uh, AMG Performance Dynamica or Napa, Le Napa Leathered Steering Wheel, 500 bucks. The 20 inch forged cross spoke wheels, $1,700. Heads up display, 1,000 bucks. Heated windshield, $500. Night View Assist Plus, $2,200. Exclusive trim package, $950. Let's see what else we got. Burmester High End 3D Surround Sound System, $6,400. Rear seat package, which is power right, rear footrest, all that, $1,700. Right seat belt airbags, $1,300. It just keeps going on and on. All the rear seat stuff adds up to about ten dollars in options. Driver assistance package is $2,200. So, it's heavily, heavily optioned. I'd say, I don't think it's missing anything, to be honest. This is the highest sticker I've seen on one of these cars. So let's step into the back of this luxury limousine, see what it's got. All right, wow. So right away, just like the front, the back has, well, actually, as much, if not more, luxury features. You've got the Burmester high-end 3D system back here. Full Alcantara headliner. Got the leather grab bars. The infotainment system in the back. Rear entertainment system. You got these pull-out tray tables. Actually, I have a leg rest, which I will demonstrate in a second. Let's see what we got. Turn the music up here. I think we have the controls somewhere. Uh, okay, we got a remote. Is it touchscreen? Not touchscreen. So we have a remote. That's the best we're going to do. So we got headphones, 
I mean, all kinds of things. So we have the radio here. You can put the navigation on it, whatever you want. We'll close that up. Let's see what else we got. No fridge, just a nice storage pouch back there. Got the ambient lighting that runs around the back. So now we're going to put it into chauffeur mode. So you got the front going forward. Okay. All right, still going forward. The seat is still going forward. Still going. Now my seat's reclining quite a lot, wow. Okay. Footrest is coming out, the leg rest and the footrest. And all right, that's it. So along with the tray tables and the infotainment screens, you have your dual zone climate control back here, your cup holders, so this is pretty cool. To the cover there. Got a little storage pad over here. They're heated and cool cup holders. Check that out. And you've got all your controls for these shades. So you have your window shade over here. The passengers. This one here. The rear shade there. If you want to open everything you can. We'll leave everything closed for now. And to take the little tray table out here, it's pretty cool. It swings out like that, like that. It's not the uh, easiest thing in the world, but once you get the hang of it, okay, logs into place, and then, boom. Now, let's go uh, outside, get some startup and rev clips, and a little launch control, race start, and then we'll get out on the road and see what it's like to drive. S63 sedan out, got it in manual mode, Sport Plus, exhaust valves open. Those crackles and burbles you get with the Sport exhaust are great. Unlike the Bentayga, it makes very tight U-turns for such a large sedan. Honestly, pulls like a freight train. Thanks to that dynamic AMG sport suspension, the air suspension, you can throw it in the corners. You know it's going to come out on the other end. Got the active bolstering keeping me in place. Got the heads up display telling me that I'm not exactly doing the speed limit. And honestly, this thing just shrinks around you. It drives like a car this size shouldn't be able to, which is pretty amazing.
it'll keep pulling till you let your foot off the gas. It does not show any signs of letting up when it's under load. And when the torque starts down so low in the RPM range, yeah, it feels like an honest to God rocket ship. I mean, dynamically, it's perfect. It, it It's comfortable when you want it to be. I mean, I put it in comfort mode. It drives just like a base ass class, like a luxury limousine. But when you get on it and you put it in Sport Plus, it's a, it becomes really a Jekyll and Hyde kind of vehicle. Just a true, true luxury Nürburgring Autobahn rocket ship. I mean, it just handles so well. That Formatic Plus really does its job. I mean, honestly, I have no words. It drives just like an S-Class should. Like, what more can you expect from it? guys that should do it for this review of the 2018 mercedes amg s63 sedan see you next time